every year since I started this channel, around October 1st, I started the clock ticking towards year end because I believe it's so important that we jump into a year end appeal and a year end strategy as early as possible. In the last few years, I've especially gotten a lot of feedback from individuals who have implemented my year end strategy with great success. Today, we're going to hear from a leader who is involved in an organization called Crew on the West Coast. His name is Ben Price, and Ben is going to share with us his story of success by incorporating the year end strategy that I've encouraged people to try every year. I'm encouraged to hear Ben's story and I think you will as well. Welcome Ben to the Jim Dempsey Fundraising Channel. Uh, I am so excited to have you on this channel and to be part of this. Uh, we are at year end, so this is an exciting time of the year. And we it are is. really trying to highlight for people and be a resource for everyone out there who works for a nonprofit organization and is trying to get uh, a good perspective on year-end giving. So you have employed a number of the strategies that we've outlined on this channel and you've used them effectively. And I wanted to get your feedback on this. You've agreed today to share with us a little bit about how this worked. Of course. Thanks, Jim. Um, really grateful for this opportunity. Uh, to share with your viewers. Um, really grateful for you and all of the videos that you produce and resources. Because um, yeah, like you said, um, they've been helpful uh, to have me see some success in my year end um, appeal. So uh, thank you for that. I, I appreciate it. Now, you, we've talked about before that you've employed the perfect uh, year end strategy that we've done in the past, mm -hmm. recommended on these videos. Um, was last year your first year you did it, or did you had you done it prior to that? Last year, uh, year end, twenty twenty two, um, was the first year. Yes, and okay. you know it's a perfect year end strategy. I don't know if I did it perfectly, but uh, <laughs> I did see some success, so I'm grateful for that. <laughs> Great. Well, kind of take us one step back as you started sure. to enter the year end. What was your financial position? Uh, how much did you need this uh, from the year end standpoint? Was this kind of just icing on the cake or was was doing well at year end uh, needed for you? Was this was this important? It was important. Um, yes. You know, over time, um, uh, when you are support raised, you might see some uh, attrition, uh, financial attrition or partner attrition um, for so many reasons um, and so many legitimate reasons. Um, and so we had seen really a shortfall in our monthly giving um, and monthly provision. And so we really needed to see, um, <clears throat> we had set our goal to around $8,000 um, to see God provide at year end. Um that, you know, that may sound like a lot or that may sound like a little to, to your um, uh, your audience, um, but that's really what we needed for our year end. Um, and so that was our financial position at the time. Great, great. Well, uh, unpack for us your strategy and what you did. How did you, what did you do first, second, and third? Well, first, I watched your videos. Uh, that was that was the helpful thing to get me started to think. And I watched it maybe around this time, um, you know, in early fall. Um, you know, in previous years, I think I started thinking about my end of the year, maybe around Thanksgiving, um, which wasn't too bad um, or anything like that. Um, but starting a little earlier was, was helpful. Um, yeah, after watching your your videos um the the getting a, a matching donor or a lead donor um 
was really what stood out to me most Mm -hmm. and something that I had never tried before. And so I was like, you know, maybe I should try that this year. Maybe I should give that a shot, see what happens. Um, And, you know, I'll I'll tell you, it was, especially before I made a call, um, it was nerve wracking to try something new, even though these people, I knew they were champions of our ministry. It was just something new, something uncomfortable. And so it was a little nerve wracking, but yeah. So what I did um, and was try to think of a few potential um, lead donors um, to, to match gifts and, and think about how I'm going to communicate to them, what the clear ask is, what I'm asking for. Um, and um, yeah, that was, that was the process. I'd come up with about um, six uh, current partners of ours to approach and knowing that not maybe not everyone um, is going to say yes um, it was not sure it was my first time and so yeah um, brainstormed those six um, created my my uh, list of complete donors and, and partners that I wanted to appeal with an end of the year ask and yeah went to them communicated an, the need um, and that need was the shortfall um, but the opportunity for them and the other um, donors and prospective partners to that year end ask was that we would be able to continue our work um, that was impacting people and people's lives um, from a healthy place and be able to continue in ministry um, unburdened by financial um, constraints. So that was the opportunity that I was presenting to donors. Did you go to the same amount to everybody? Did you, uh, how'd you decide how much you were going to ask them for? I, I shared with them my, my total need around $8,000. Um, I think it was maybe 7,600. And um, I just kind of, kind of split that in half. Um, and then I, I shared them that need, that half need, and said, hey, I'm looking for um, current partners to help get, get to that halfway mark to match um, so that the other uh, prospective givers at year end um, would be inspired by the generosity of others um, and that their gift would be doubled. Um, and then they're in you know, their gift, the lead donors, their gift is, is impacting as well. And so there's um, incentive for them uh, as well in that. And so I did not present a specific ask, but just presented the, the need and asked um, something along the lines of, you know, uh, with that being the need, um, you know, would you pray about what you, um, what you would like to cover, what you would like to give towards, whether that's a thousand, whether that is half, whether that's all of it, um, it's up to up to you. So, how much did you get in lead money? I got um, whatever half of uh, seventy six hundred was. Oh, okay, and so it was yeah. almost four thousand dollars then. Yes, almost four thousand dollars in in lead gifts, um, which I was just ecstatic by, um, and just you know maybe even surprised by because i'm like oh is this working is this happening so, well, what was the next step then what did you do next yeah the next step was crafting my uh, end of the year ask um and you know over time in my year ask um through uh your videos has been shaped as well to to speak to really um the 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 problem that that i'm presenting um and how they can be the solution and how their generosity story is the solution to the problem. Um, You know, and I I started out though with um, another problem and solution, but really from a vision perspective in that um, end of the year ask appeal, you know, thinking of who am I going to send it to? That's really how I kind of wrote the letter, but I kind of wrote it as much as clear as possible with this simple language. Um, as possible, short sentences, and um, often re- uh, repetitive um, sentences in different ways, talking about the ask. And I put the question, um, and I kind of put the question, uh, the ask, um, maybe in the middle of the letter, made it a little larger and bold. Um, but even before that, I kind of did a pre-ask, instead of a question, more of a pre-ask statement, 
um, maybe two paragraphs up, just one sentence. Um, and then at the end, reiterated the story, the vision story of life change at the very end, you know, saying, thank you for impacting Lestari's life, the, the, the woman I wrote about. And then at the very end, uh, under my signature, I put a, a handwritten PS letter um, that uh, essentially was like, your gift, again, your gift is going to be doubled um, uh, and your impact is going to uh, make an impact. So that's that was the, the letter strategy, what I did next. And I sent that out, um, the, the letter out to our donors, um, I believe the third or second week of November. I wanted to get them to get it right before um thanksgiving um so yeah and then i made a bunch of other soft touch points i'd love to share about those if you'd right. like to hear um, yeah after that. Uh, what was did, did you uh do any follow-up with phone calls or did you do any visits with any of these individuals <clears throat> either one um what i did is just set up a bunch of soft touches um Thanks, the day before Thanksgiving, because uh, not on Thanksgiving, who's going to open an email? The day before Thanksgiving, I sent out an email, really short, um, no images, um, no life-changing story, but just a quick, like an email saying, thank you so much. It's, it's, it's Thanksgiving. We're appreciative of you. Without you, we couldn't do what we get to do and see the life change um, that God produces in our ministry. Thank you so much. So a Christmas thank you, uh, or sorry, a, a Thanksgiving thank you. Uh, and then I had a Christmas card go out, I believe, the week after that. So kind of another um, small touch, but a physical reminder of the letter that they might have received um, maybe two weeks prior. Um, and I believe uh, that we probably were one of the first uh, Christmas cards they received um, at that point. And so... Um, just put us back in their mind. And then a few weeks later around Christmas, um, so not on Christmas, but a few days before, thank them again, just for being a partner. Um, and th just the reminder of the gospel and Christ is what we get to do. Um, and then after that, I sent um, two more touch points via email. Well, Ben, we are at that point where I would love to hear what the final total was. So just a reminder for our audience, your your goal was 7,600, but you mm -hmm. were probably hoping for more. How much did you yes. end up raising at your end? I ended up raising, God provided um, about $10,000 in total gifts, including the lead gifts of, of our matching donors. Right. That's great, Ben. I appreciate that so much. Well, Ben, any closing comments, uh, any uh, tips, any suggestions, anything you would say to the audience? Yeah. Um, start thinking early and think about those small touch points. Um, and I would even encourage those small touch points, regardless of an appeal, um, to appreciate your partners as often as you can. Um, and um, would even encourage maybe checking out um, a texting app called Reach App. Um, it has helped me stay connected with partners directly via text and been tracking it for a while. You know, you don't always see responses in the email, but I've been seeing about 20% response rate. Anytime I say, Hey, thinking of you, how are you? How can I pray for you? And you know, that might not sound a lot uh, like a, a significant amount, but it is 20% is pretty significant of a response rate. Um, and so, yeah, think of those small touch points, start early and definitely pray about God to give you, um, uh, partners to ask to to be that that lead um, lead sponsor lead um, donor uh, so that you can try a, a double um, matching gift. So well, thanks, Ben. Thank you so much for getting up early to be with us, and <laughs> of for, course uh, for uh, just really blessing our audience this way and uh, sharing your your story, your testimony of how this uh, year end strategy can make a difference. So thanks again, Ben. Thank you.